What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar. We are talking about nine different altcoins today. I'll give you the list right now, and I will leave a list in the description along with timestamps. So if you want to look at the coins and you want to see what time that they're in, you, you don't want to flip through the video, just look, look down in the description. There will be a coin, the, the ticker, how this one says PLI. There will be a PLI, and then there will be a timestamp next to it. You can just click that. You can skip through the whole introduction and just watch me start doing analysis. I appreciate everybody who watches every single second of these videos, even if it is boring or you know maybe you're intrigued, whatever. I appreciate every single person who does that because <clears throat> it helps push the, the content. Retention time really helps push the content, you guys. Hitting the like button, subscribing helps push the content. So anything and everything that you do, I appreciate you for being here. Getting views also helps push the content. So thank you, thank you all for being here. But let's let's get started. Okay, let's let's really start talking about this. I'll go over the list right now verbally, and I'll give shout outs along the way. We're gonna go over PLI, Ave, Storage, Quant, Wi-Fi, Kambala, Joe Bowden, Dot, and PEI, PEI. <clears throat> That's the list. You can see it in the description. All right. PLI plug-in at the request of Mr. Daniel Bandini. We're gonna get into this for you, my friend. Well, this thing took a dump. Um, it took a fat dump, right? All the way down to its 100. But this this is a nice area to get a uh, <clears throat> a double bottom look, honestly. You're getting a lot of volume. It's crazy how much volume you're getting in relative to this chart, right? And how insignificant the moves are, right? That's just kind of crazy. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's almost like you're getting the the fuel, but you're not getting anywhere. That could be implicit of a directional change soon, right? And being that you're at a double bottom as well could also imply that. If we're looking at a high to a low, the target of this next move, if it were to move up, would be something around 27.8 to 61.5 cents. You're at 1.6 cents now, so you do the math. No, we'll do it together, here we go. It would be something of like a 16X to potentially a 37X <clears throat> around there around there. It doesn't have to stop there. This is the minimum expected zone, but that's a lot of volume coming in, guys, at the lows and not really moving lower. You're not getting too much momentum to the downside. I can't help but think you're going to have some kind of explosive reaction at least, at least to the 618 zone, around 6.2 cents to 7.3 cents. I would expect that you go there, previous areas of resistance as well. Um, and if you jump from there, okay, it's a different story, but I genuinely think once you break this area, it's on. It's you're going to see some crazy maneuvers to the upside, man. It's already clear in this thing's brief history that it has that when it is time to move up, it does it pretty fast, even on these little spurts, man. That's that's pretty big uh, weekly moves, right? Right here even, right? So uh, that's 92% weak right there, even if it was just for one week. That's PLI. Let's talk about Ave. <clears throat> the request of Fonzilla. Fonzu. Francisco. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I think PLI is going to move up and if, if that wasn't clear. Ave reminds me so much of <clears throat> a couple coins that I'm holding, but it looks more bullish actually. I was going to compare it to Compound, but it actually it's more bullish. I like I like what it's doing right here. Um, you're going to get a breakout. You're going to get a nice move up, probably at least to 239 to 291. You're at 123 right now. Um, so yeah, that's that. Look, you have that to look forward to. Um, Likely you'll you'll probably see prices above here and I think even to new all-time highs by the end of this cycle. Uh, but for the time being, come on now. I think I think you're about to bust out soon, man. I really do. I think you're just waiting. It's gonna be any day now. Probably when the rest of the market takes over, or this could be one of those, you know, before the whole market goes off, there's always like like those that handful of coins that just pops off on their own, right? It's like they're taking turns popping off. This could be one of them that just sees a nice rip up. So any day now, um, as far as like a good price to get in, I don't know, it's 123 right now. It's probably a perfect price to get in. It's finding support at a previous area of resistance, previous area of resistance here, previous area of support back here, consolidating right above the 50, looking very bullish on the daily RSI, losing volume as you're moving lower, right? Gaining volume as you're moving up. I don't know. I I think it's got more to go. It's probably going to move up to this 0.5 area, looking like you're respecting your fibs a little bit, so maybe up to 175 soon. Maybe even move a little bit above it, come back down to this like 140 area, 150 area, and then make your way back up to that 290, 240 area, 230 area, whatever. That's Ave. <clears throat> looking good. Looking good is all I got to say. Ave. Storage. <clears throat> Thirty-three point three eight cents right now, high to low. Let's see. I don't know if I like the weekly, but I don't. I don't hate it. It's not terrible. Okay. Um, 
Daily R site, I don't know if I like that either, but it, again, I don't hate it. It's not terrible, it's just neutral. Um, high to, or low to high here. Tipping that 618, literally tipping it. I don't know. That could have been it, man, today. You just had your drop. I know a lot of cryptos dropped today. That, that could have been it. Look at that bullish divergence on the four hour too. It depends on where you close, actually. If, if you don't close below this low, you actually don't have bullish divergence, technically. You bullish convergence, whatever. I don't know, man. This thing looks like it wants to rip, too. I think storage found its low, guys. If not, if not, maybe it makes another attempt throughout the day or throughout the next couple days. Down to 30 and a half cents. Maybe it works its way down to 29, 27 and a half cents. But I think soon, if not now, I, I feel very confident right now calling it. But I'd like to see the day close. I'd like to see how it closes today uh, before we do that. So maybe, Fonzie, if you're really curious about this one, uh, ask for it again on the Discord, whatever, today. And, and I'll, I'll put it on the next request video, which is two days from now, which will be enough time to kind of get a better understanding of this, how we're reacting with this 618 area. Two days from now, I think that would be a better understanding of it. But because uh, two days from now, right, we'd have, we'd have this candle be done, fulfilled. We have tomorrow's candle be done. And then I'd be at the beginning of the next day's candle. We'd really have like this day closed, another day closed, and then another day just opening. That, that'd be nice. A little bit to see how we're reacting with this level. Are, are we finding support off it or are we actually we just bleeding into it? Um, if we are finding support off it, and at the moment it looks very convincing, very compelling that we are, then storage might be looking to go up a little bit higher here. We might be looking for an extension of this move here from a high to a low. I like the, I like the respect that you're showing on the 382 and the 123 weekly moving average. Whenever you whenever you move up here, I would expect that you move up to about 67.9 cents to 75.9 cents, so about 76 cents, 68 cents, something like that uh, would be your next move. You're at 33. 0.4 cents right now. So solid gains, so, solid gains, probably in a very short amount of time. Um, certainly by the end of the year, by the end of the year, man, you really could, you absolutely could by the end of the year be at prices that are near $2, if not even above $3, something like that. If not by the end of the year, then sometime early next year is what I would expect. But it just depends on how quickly you move up here, I suppose, right? And this thing seems to move fast. Whenever it wants to move, whenever it wants to move up, it seems to move fast. I want to actually, I want to measure Man, every day at this time, they walk their dog at the same time every day. At least they're consistent. But uh, these little kids, they take out this little ankle-biting dog, yapper, man, little yapper I love dogs. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean I, I have to like their annoying barks. Um, yeah, a move like that, inconsistency with what we saw last time. And this, this would actually break you out of this overall consolidation phase, so it might be more intense once you do that. But a move like that would get you really close to this 1272, and that would definitely be by the end of this year. That'd be in December. So, I mean, you, you really could see prices at least at $1.88 $1 to $3.24 by the end of this year. I, I really do think that that's completely possible. Um, things to get excited about. But in the short term, again, you know, just look for some upside. Um, Look to get above this 123 moving average on the daily. Look to get above 43 cents. Whenever you do that, we can start talking about prices that are potentially around 64 cents to 82.6 cents. And then once you get above those, you know, much higher prices. But anyways, storage. Yeah, moving up. I think so. I think so. I'd, I'd like to check back in on it, though, in two days. Quant at the request of... Farsahid or Farshid, I don't know. Farshid? Farshid. <clears throat> Farshid. Um, quant. <clears throat> Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I like the shape of this. I think... I don't know, man. I would think you have lower to go. You've got that long wick down. You do have bullish divergence on your four hour, but that, that already played out. Uh, I kind of like your one hour. I don't know, man. I feel like you've got lower to go on quant. I feel like you've got 57 points. You got so close, so that's more bullish than it is bearish. Not a lot of volume, though. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to... I'm. Uh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one, Farshid. I like that as a low. I don't think you're going to go below that low, but I just don't like where you are now in regards to the price. I want to see you go a little bit lower, man, just a little bit. But just because I want that doesn't mean it has to happen. If you don't make your way down to like 50 cent, you basically did though. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting hung up on this. Let's call it a low. We're going to call it a low. You're at, you're at your low there. Congratulations. Good job. It's really bullish looking, hopefully. 
Um, same thing, right? Farsheet, if you want to request this in, in two days or request this, and, and I do it in two days. If you request it tonight, I'll do it in two days. I won't do it tomorrow, right? So um, <clears throat> go ahead and do that because I think it'll be more pertinent in, in the next two days to kind of understand this thing better. Um, but if you are moving up $60 to $76, that, that'd probably be where your next move would be. And then beyond that, obviously, to like the $100 area and then beyond that. But first and foremost, let's just focus on that $76. And now let's focus on the word pertinent. 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 <laughs> pertinent. Definition. <clears throat> Relevant or applicable to particular matter. Okay, I think that's fine, right? Uh, I think I used that properly, even if I didn't spell it properly. Quant. All right. Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Wi-Fi map. OKX, CoinX, Gate.io, probably Gate.io, right? Probably. Definitely not Poloniex, because their chart looks like this. It's ridiculous. Such low liquidity. Yeah, we'll, we'll use, I think we can use OKX. That's fine. Let me, let me just look at gate.io one more time. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll use OKX. Okay. So, Wi Fi, Wi Fi, at the request of Mr. Hiram Hidalgo, Hiram Hidalgo. I, I don't know if I, if I spelled that wrong or if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but probably pronouncing it wrong. And I probably spelled it wrong, but I don't want that. I want this. Low to high here. Deep, man, deep. I would think you have lower to go. I think you hit that 2272 at 2.455 cents. I think you do, personally. You can turn around at any point. This could be your low, absolutely, but I would just think that you are. You're so close to that 2272. You're so close to that 886. Just hit it, bro. Go for it. Low to high here. Yeah, look at, they're right on top of each other. 2.45 cents, man. That's where you're going. You're at three cents now. A little bit lower, and then up, hopefully. Hopefully, then up. It actually does, to me, and by the way, pulling back to your 886 like that, I'm pretty sure that's a bat pattern. Um, let me just see. Low here to high there. Went down to your 0.5. Yeah, I think I think that is, man. I don't know if that's high enough. I don't know. But it seems like some kind of harmonic, at which case, any at any rate, man, this... This move down to your 886 would be a nice area to, to get in because you'd probably have a nice move that takes you all the way back up here and then some probably, um, but lower nonetheless. So 2.5 cents or 2.45, whatever I said, is where you're going to go. Down. Yeah, daily RSI looks like you went down. Four-hour RSI looks like you went down. That one was easy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hidalgo. Cambola. Cambola sounds like Ebola. Or is it supposed to be Cambala? Oh, it's Cambala. It is Cambala. Kambala, Kambala coin, uh, Kambala coin. You wanted me to talk about it. I, I don't, I don't know, buddy. Kambala coin. I don't know, man. Maybe you're just a scammer. Kambala coin. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Did I did I write it down wrong? Let me just look before I start saying lies let's see hold on let me find it was it here i know i'm all up close to the screen and shit let me see hold on wait should be this one right here okay yeah, Kambala coin. <clears throat> it looks like Joe Biden coin and Donald Trump coin. Um, so just so everybody's aware, there is no Kambala coin. The person that requests this might have been a scammer, and their coin in the week that they've been waiting for me to do this request has already gotten snuffed out as a scam. Or if it is a coin... You can't buy it anywhere. You certainly can't look it up anywhere. Um, so I don't. Trump's Kambala nickname for Kamala Harris is causing all kinds of confusion. Kambala, was she, is she a baller? I don't, Kambala, I, I don't know. Uh, let, me, let me look up on x.com, maybe. Maybe that's where they're trying to direct all the scams. 
Let's see. Cambala coin. Cambala. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to guess it's either a scam or somebody's just messing with me, but there ain't no Kambala coin. So we're going to move past that. Sorry for wasting everybody's time. I'm very sorry for wasting my own. Uh, but no, Kambala coin. You you spammed the request, and uh, it's, it's not there, buddy. So I don't know what you want. Bowden. Bowden, right? That's what we want. Bowden. Joe Bowden, 74K volume. That is the one, I think. Where's my water? Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Um, looks like I put a lot of lines on here. I don't know. I don't know when the last time I did analysis. Maybe it was all the way back here. Uh, and then I probably said, if you break this line, that's your line for support, or that's your line for support. You found resistance down there at your 61869 zone. Once you broke below your 886, that's whenever it's time to go to your, your extension. So you hit that. I don't know what I would have said back then. I, I was probably expecting you to go up, assuming that this was here. I, I don't know where the price was whenever I last made my video. Um, but man, you dropped off a cliff. No volume, absolutely no volume, very low volume. So uh, Joe Bowden coin for you. Mr. Daniel Walsh. I don't know if it's at a good time to buy or not, man. I mean, it's at a very, very big discount. That's for damn sure. From a, from a low to a high near your 618. Very close to your 618. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think you go lower. It, it, any day now, you could rip, though. You could see. It's probably a good time, as good a time as any, to put some money into it if you want to. But it's Joe Bowden coin. Might it might be irrelevant, man. Might be relevant, right? Like like this was this was a more like good idea before he dropped out of the race. Now that he's dropped out of the race, like I, I just don't know. Maybe maybe I was gonna say maybe it, it'll go up if Kamala's looking good, but Kamala was looking good last month and now now she's not. Now the polls are adjusted again to Trump's favor. He had no pump during that time. I think I think there's a reason why he went irrelevant. Radio dark since Joe Biden stepped out. I'd get out of this thing, man. Probably wait. I would just wait patiently, even if it does slowly, slowly go down, and just wait for that next like one miracle pump that it gets, and then just get out of it, because this thing's probably dead, man. It's irrelevant now. I don't, I don't even want to do analysis on it. I'm sorry. I get the, the best analysis that I can give you is probably going to keep going down. That's it. But again, I'd just wait for like a miracle pump and then sell there, personally. Um, anyways, that's, that's Joe Bowden. A end of an era. Bye-bye, Bowden, probably. Unless Joe Biden becomes relevant in the media again, I don't see that coin taking off personally. <clears throat> he's not going to be relevant in the media, man. He's old. He's too. They don't want to talk to him. He can't talk. No offense to old people. There's plenty of old people. There's plenty of old people who are 20 years older than him who have more cognitive function than he does. Literally, there are 100-year-olds that have more cognitive. I know he's 81. I know what I just said. There are genuinely, I saw a video of a 100-year-old the other day uh, he was in court talking about a parking ticket or something, and he was more cognitive than, than Joe Biden is. You know, so I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I'm not hating on old people whenever I said he's old. I'm just saying because of his age, he's gone into mental de decline, decognition, right? So I, I don't think he's going to be relevant at all. He's in his nursing home. That's where he's going to be for the rest of his life, you know, live in peace, rest in peace, whatever, you know. It's, it's irrelevant. Joe Bowden's irrelevant, I think. Um, High to low here on dot four, Mr. Giovanni Mata Ramirez dot. This price is at four dollars. Actually, it went all the way down to three eighty nine, right at the one for one for very nice target. A lot of crypto has been hitting their one for one for this cycle. I haven't seen them do it lately, so it's nice to see that. A little bit of support here on the four hour. Yes, let's look at the daily. Daily, I like that man. I really do like that. I don't mind where you are in the RSI either. I don't. A little bit of bullish divergence presenting itself. Let's see how today closes. One hour here. Um, I think you're going to move up, Dot. I think you will. Let's call for a move up. High to low here. Let's call for a move up to about 570. See how you do with that. That's going to be over the coming weeks. But all in all, I think you are. I think you're on your way. I think this is your relative low, and I think you're on your way up there. Probably sometime over the next like month or two. Probably, Probably not this month, but over the next month and a half or two 
570. That's the target area. Okay. Yeah, dots looking good. And then PEI, PEI on MEXC. Moved down quite a bit. Yes, you did. From a low point here to a high point year. 618 holding it, dude. I like it. I like that a lot. I don't mind your daily RSI. It is weak right now, but it's postured in a way that's somewhat friendly, I suppose. Four hour RSI looks like it wants to go down. You could go lower, but that could have been your low, man. You're in the 61869 zone. With the daily RSI the way it looks, it wouldn't be too hard to assume you go a little bit lower. I just don't see you going below that line. So somewhere in this zone, if not, you've already found your low and you're looking to move up higher. Uh, and that low, by the way, was in at, what? what is that price? One, two, three, four, five. So point six zeros, one, zero, four, seven, to point six zeros, or sorry, seven zeros, eight, nine, six. You could go to point seven zeros, eight, nine, six. That could happen, and then you move up. But anywhere in this range, which you've already hit, I think that that's fine. I think you'll move up. Um, Ideally, you'll get above this 0.5. Even more ideally, you'll get above the 382. If you reject at any of these levels, it's not ideal, but it's okay, right? It's actually very common. So if you, if you go up to your 382 and you reject down to your 0.5, that's fine. If you reject past your 0.5, that's not a good thing, in my opinion. That, that would actually imply lower prices to come. If you reject your 0.5, that's not really encouraging. You, you want to find support on that 618, but that's not. you don't want to interact with the 618 too often. Um, but the 0.5, yes, you could find resistance there. Look to move up to your 382. You could move all the way up to your 236, find support on your 382, and then move up, or 382, 0 0.5, 236, 382, something like that, whatever. However it ends up looking. But up, nonetheless, is what I'm going to call from here. Okay, that's that's what I'm going to call. If I'm wrong, you move down a little bit first, and then, then you move up. So whatever, who cares? Um, pretend like my up call is a week later, and then it'll end up being right. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. So if you like the video, hit that like button. I think the winner tonight... <sighs> I don't know, man. Might be storage. Might be storage. I feel like that was the only one that like really like moved me. Ave Ave looks like it wants to bust out though, bro. I don't know. I might say Ave. Either way, it's Fonzie. Fonzie, you win. So congratulations, my man. Fonzilla with the win tonight um, for the uh, the wheelhouse. So. With that, I leave you guys. Thank you all for being here. Hit the hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.